Okay. All right. Um, great. I hope this is working. All right. I'll, I just wanted to create um, a quick uh, brief video, brief training video for you guys. Um, so for anyone who's new here and uh, who's just added me as a friend or who's new to my profile. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Um, I just want to quickly introduce myself. So I'm Jomi. I recently became a nomad for like a, a little over half a year ago. I'm currently in Thailand. I've been here for about two months now. I'm here for about two months now because, well, I, I fell in love with... Um, a small island called Kolanta. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you're here, like give me a shout out. Yeah, oh yeah, drop some hearts. Great, <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, um, nice to see you guys again. It's been a while. Yeah, so this is just a brief training video as to um, just to give everyone an idea as to what it is I do and how to do it. Um, so for anyone new here, I'm Jomi. Uh, I consult with uh, CEOs and entrepreneurs to basically create an automated business that they love. And the purpose of, the of this video is to just walk you through the steps and the processes that I do to help my clients do this, do this, create automated or passive income streams. And it's also the process that I did for myself. Okay. Hi. Hi, Kimmy. <laughs> Hi, great, great. So got some people on. Um, if you watch this on the replay, um, that's totally okay. Just like say hi below so I know you're there. And if you have any questions throughout the video or even after the video, if I don't see it in time, I'm going to get to your questions. Um, even on the replay, how is it so nice? <laughs> oh, really? I haven't combed it yet. So that's that, that's really cool. Thank you. You're awesome, Kiwi. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions or you're too shy to post it below, like send me a PM. Totally cool. Um, yeah, so four keys to building a passive six-figure business. So I'm just going to go through this quickly. If you have, if you need more information about each of the keys, just like drop a comment below or let me know. The first one I've already talked about in previous posts, so I won't go too deep into it. Um, uh, it's actually the most um, the most important the most important part, and I'm going to start with it. So it's um, a mission-driven brand that sells itself. So that's the first thing that you need before you even start thinking about passive income or automating your business. Because without that brand, the rest of the process is going to be really, really fucking difficult for you. Like half the work is done if you can come up with a brand that you like absolutely love and like it resonates with, with who you are, what you believe in, and everything that you do for your business will stem from this brand. And if you're not sure about how to go about that, um, I, I posted a quick exercise earlier on how to like the, the discovering your purpose and your mission. It's like a real quick exercise to get, uh, to at least catch a glimpse of what it is like you're meant to do in this world. And if you want me to, to, to like reiterate that, like let me, let me know. I can do a separate post on that as well. Um, yeah. So uh, my best my best tip for you to get that done is to start with a why. If you know of Simon Sinek, like use his process and infuse that with your brand strategy, with you actually building your brand for you. Okay, so that's the first one, a mission-driven brand that sells itself. Because essentially, if your brand is solid, you're just going to start attracting all these different clients and opportunities to you that, that were not available to you previously. So yeah. The second part is uh, once you have your brand down, is to scale what comes easily to you. So before you can automate anything, you have to scale first. You have to have the income for you to automate. Uh, if you're a product-based business, business, this is actually easy because you already more or less have one or two things that are best sellers for you. That means they, this brings the majority of your income. So like 40, 50%. In my case, it was 60% of my income came from this particular product line. So you can sell like a whole shitload of other stuff. That's totally okay. I did that too. Or do other things that you enjoy and sell that. That's totally fine. But if you're absolutely honest with yourself, there will be one or two things 
there will only be one or two things that bring in the most cash for you. So once you identify that, just sell it 100 different ways, scale the fuck out of it. I'm really a fan of easy and simple strategies to get your product out there. So although there is a time and place for like complicated funnels, I really believe that the most the most income, the most cash that you can bring in are the easiest and simplest strategies that are the most aligned with your brand. And that's what I've seen with um, uh, my business and even the businesses of my clients. So yeah, so scale what comes easy to you. Uh, the third and fourth keys are, are related, but I'm separating them because they're two big things and really, 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 really key for your business. The first one is automating through your teams. Before you can think about um, your processes and your structures, you have to have a team in place. And it doesn't matter if your team is full-time or part-time. It doesn't matter just as long as you have the right people around you because you cannot scale a business on your own. No matter how brilliant you are, there's just it's just going to be harder. You can try. You can definitely try, but it's definitely going to be harder. Oh, I see more people joining. That's so cool. Hey, guys. Hey. How are you? I miss you guys. I haven't, I haven't talked to, I haven't talked to most of you actually in a, quite a long time. Yeah. Okay. So, so automating with teams. So, hiring the right people goes back again to the first first step, which is building a brand, building a killer brand aligned with your mission. Because your everything, all your all your other decisions will come from then, come from there. Even building building your team, you have to be able to build a team that you trust 100% who will have your back no matter what. Speaking of which, I think one of the, one of my former um, uh, employees is here. Really cool, <laughs> really cool. I miss you, I miss you guys, yeah. Um, yeah, so you're going to end up having um, a team who would really fucking bleed for you, you know, follow you to the ends of the earth. If you start with your mission, you start with your values and you're very transparent with this and you're able to communicate it with, with your team, offer them growth and, you know, obviously pay them well. And um, yeah, start from what's important to you so you attract the right people to support you in your journey. So automate with your team, that's a third. And the last one would be to automate through systems and structures. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I just saw a laugh. Not sure what it was for, but yeah. Uh, automate through systems and structures. Before you can think of automating through systems and structures, you have to have your team in place. Because the way I like to do it is um, the systems are created for me by my team. So although I do have a process and I onboard them and train my team through this process, I like to give them ownership of that process itself so that what happens here is some um, you know they become proud more proud of what it is that they do for your business and that it it nurtures some um, uh, a very good environment for your team to like come up with ideas and feel free to like make mistakes and experiment and um, improve your business and grow your business for you and this is how this is how essentially your business is going to end up growing without you because your team is going to be like running it for you, literally coming up with the ideas that you, that in the past you were the only ones who came up with, but your, your team is going to start coming up with those ideas for you, start creating systems and processes out of them. And you're just going to start being amazed with how, oh, thank you for the hearts. <laughs> start, you're going to start being amazed at how your business is just going to start taking a life of its own. Yeah, so just to um, summarize this really quick video, um, the four keys to building a passive six-figure business is to start with a mission-driven mission brand that sells itself. Even if you ignore everything else I say, like start with that, and you've got half the job done. Okay, so mission-driven brand that sells itself. Second, scale what comes easy to you. Okay, so don't complicate your life you already know if you've been in your business for quite some time, you already know what makes you the most money. Scale the fuck out of it. Like pour all your efforts there. You can have little things, but pour your pour pour your efforts into that one big thing or one or two big things that you 
you know, you do really well. This works for both product-based businesses and even, you know, even if you have a service-based business, if you're honest with yourself, you can think of one thing, one or two things that you can commodify and sell even without you. So yeah, scale will come to you, to easily to you. Third and fourth, automate with your teams and systems. So yeah, those are my, that's my process essentially. Um, it's what I used for my own business, how I built my own business and end up, ended up working just one day a week and um, how I help my clients as well build automated businesses for themselves so that they free more of their time and you know, do more shit that they love. So if you have any questions, yeah, I miss you guys, yeah. <laughs> If you have any questions at all, like drop them in the comments. If you watch the replay, totally cool. Um, let me know what you think. If you have more follow-up questions as well, or if you're too shy to, to post a comment, feel free to message me. If we're friend, if we're not friends yet, add me and then message me. All right, I'm signing off now. Bye.